Hello everybody, this is user one and uh, this is an unfinished project I'm working on for the three year celebration of this channel. It's coming up in two days. Meanwhile, I just want to talk about this situation in particular. Hope you guys uh, enjoy the video and let's go. So the reason why I'm commentating on this uh, situation in particular is because, well, it's silent. Uh, so first of all, uh, Gloria gets a call in her mother's apartment to come over to the sheriff's department, right? So she comes outside and I'm PMing someone, but I'll get back to that later. So she comes outside and she sees uh, this girl walking with her friend and she's wearing a bandana. So she's like, what's going on? And then she sees the knife. So she texts the deputy that she just talked to because, you know, calling 911 would be too obvious. So this whole situation begins to devolve here. And she uh, knows that her friend has a gun. She doesn't herself. Gloria doesn't have a gun herself at that point. So she's like, okay, hey, I'll, uh, how about you take me hostage instead? So maybe the guy with the gun can shoot you. Basically, that's the plan. So that's what she does. She allows herself to be taken hostage in hopes that the other guy can shoot her as you can see she even says shoot that bitch but then the, the the sheriffs come and then they proceed to give her orders now here's the here's the part that i really like about this right this is the kind of situation that only happens on a true hard roleplay server right on any other server she would just immediately be shot she would just immediately be shot and no one like no one would mind at all and but here as you can see people just wanted to escalate this into a roleplay scenario right everybody did me including and it was just you know why would we do that why would we uh, bother ourselves with something that's not gonna earn us any assets but uh, just not give us anything other than experience right most rpgs are all about grinding and making money or leveling up your character to 99 in everything you know 99 skill and all those arbitrary skill points uh, lsrp doesn't have any of that right there are some upgrades but they're very arbitrary all that's really most expensive all that's really most influential all on lsrp is experiences and this is one of those experiences. This is why I sped up the footage, because this experience lasted for so long. It was pretty tense. It was, and it was tense throughout, because, you know, you don't want your character to die, because then you would have to remove that from your character story. So, there's that, and, you know. So, you wouldn't want to be stabbed with a screwdriver. But here's the thing, right? That screwdriver isn't a, a weapon that's scripted in the game. That screwdriver is a clothing item. It's a clothing item uh, that's just role-played, right? And this is what I'm talking about when I say role-play servers allow you to do unlimited amount of stuff, right? Unlimited amount of options, realistically. It always boggles me when, you know, games don't allow you to do everything. I mean, it makes sense because you can't physically script everything until you, like, begin scripting atoms and the laws of physics and there's just not a computer that can run all that simulation right the closest we've gotten is probably like gta 5 in terms of freedom of ability to do as many things as possible but even this for example wouldn't be possible in gta 5 right roleplay servers true roleplay servers not rpg grind bullshit they allow you to do all this kind of shit and i love that and that's why i love lsrp that's why i love all those hard rp servers now I've heard I've heard some people talking about LSRP dying, right? Here's the thing, right? LSRP is still one of the biggest true hard RP servers, right? I cannot think of a bigger hard RP server. Yes, it's down to 300 players, but there's all kinds of reasons why that could be the case, right? It's a it's a Thanksgiving season. People could be out on holidays. All sorts of reasons why people. I just aren't interested in uh, LSRP right now as they used to be. That doesn't mean the server is dead. Stuff like this still happens. This happened just a couple of days ago. As you can see, you got army guys out front. They're all acting, you know. Just this, this whole situation wouldn't happen any in any other game 
if it wasn't scripted directly by a team of professionals, right? Because every person you see is a real person and they're acting like a real person would in the situation. They're acting like the character would in their situation. This is why roleplay servers are just so appealing to me in particular, right? I love it. It's ability to experience this without the fear of actually losing a life. It's the chance to write a character story from a unique perspective. It's just interesting. And there's all kinds of out of character stuff that happened there as well. Um, for one that I actually was quitting the game at the time when she came out. Uh, and so I came back in and was like, oh, sorry, uh, were you trying to roleplay with me? But she was like, nah, uh, you, you probably stashed your weapon. To, to the person roleplaying, I just want to say Gloria Mendoza didn't have a weapon anyway, so... Anyway, uh, for that reason, I just want to say, you know, for, for the reason that, you know, I'm allowed to do this kind of shit, I'm allowed to play a character and recently, right? Uh, an administrator made a decision to not ban me for the sound patch, right? If you still have sound patch installed, you're an idiot, get it uninstalled, okay? LSRP will ban you for it. Yeah, I know, I mean, it, you, in, in common sense, you shouldn't be banned for a, a mod that fixes glitches, but it gives you advantages over other people, so... Yeah, that technically... Yeah... So because I made the video saying, oh, don't install sound patch, I was given a stern warning. So, you know, if they find me using it again, I'll be, I'll be banned for good. So I'm not going to obviously use it again right now. I have very few mods installed, the white screen fix, only the mods that I was directly approved uh, through PMs and such. So I'm probably going to continue contacting administration teams, seeing what mods are okay. And I'll keep sharing that with you. For now, uh, all I have is widescreen fix, uh, low poly gun models, the red dot crosshair, and the white sensitivity fix. Uh, nothing else at the moment. And yeah, all that is good. So, <laughs> this situation is just great. This situation is just, just one of those situations that I adore roleplay servers for. And the best thing is, those situations can arise at any moment. At any moment, these kind of situations can arise. And that's why LSRP uh, and other hardcore RP servers just are so great. And we shouldn't be limited in our ability to roleplay. Imagine if there was a rule that said, oh, you actually have to have a weapon for uh, for you to roleplay a weapon, right? So if, if... Imagine that, right? Imagine if you fucking had that in and then someone tried to... Uh, create a roleplay scenario and they were stopped because of the rules, right? That's not okay, right? Sure, maybe it's not as fair and balanced, but roleplay servers shouldn't be about really... shouldn't be about fa gameplay f fairness and balance, right? LSOP does this a lot. It, it introduces a lot of features that are gameplay fairness and balanced. For this reason, some machine guns are, do 15 damage. 15 damage to the chest, right? Meanwhile, a nightstick does more damage. How does a nightstick do more damage than a submachine gun? That makes no sense, right? It should be fair and balanced through a realistic point of view. And as in... And real life isn't, like, fair in terms of, you know, what people get in the end, right? It's not like someone could be the best person, the nicest person to everyone, and they could get fucked over, or someone could be a huge asshole and they can succeed, right? That's how life works. And that should be that way in roleplay servers. Sure, it's not uh, the most appealing way to play, but um, there should be a balance between gameplay and realism. And I don't know if we can really find that balance. We should definitely strive for that. What I'm basically saying is that I want these situations that, like this to be possible in any shape or form. And when these situations are hindered by uh, roleplay, which you will see uh, by... Not by roleplay, by <laughs> roleplay, hindered by roleplay. Uh, sorry, I misspoke. When roleplay is hindered by out-of-character rules, it really sucks, okay? And you're going to see an example 
of that almost happening on GTA World, but it didn't in the end because I talked to an admin, so it was good. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this is the situation that happened. I'm commentating because otherwise the video is silent and nobody's gonna watch it. My screen literally just went to sleep mode. I hope that's not gonna appear on the recording. Anyway, as you can see, this is the climax. In the end, the, the kidnapper or the hostage taker pushes Gloria over after holding a screwdriver to her neck. Then, uh, you know, everybody tends to her. They get the, the get the screwdriver wielding person. She sits on the couch. The, she speaks to the speaks to her uh, co-workers. Everything everything turns out great. And I tab out by accident because my hands were shaking. That was it was really tense, really. Even though I wasn't holding the gun, I wasn't like doing nothing. I was like, oh my god, is Gloria gonna die like this? Just, uh, it was tense. It was definitely tense. Anyway, I want to say, thank you so much for support for the past three years. It's coming up, the three year uh, anniversary for my channel is coming up. And I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i got something special planned for that. It's gonna be this Tuesday. Hope you guys tune in for it. And uh, stay awesome. Also, um, before we go, let's uh, watch. Let's watch her be escorted out, cause that's also a nice sight. I'm not saying like out of character wise. Ooh, I'm glad this player got punished or something. No, the the play the idea is the in, ca in character in game character gets punished. There you go. It looks dope. It just, it just looks dope. Okay, someone getting escorted like that with handcuffs. Animations are a big thing. Um, imagine, imagine if handcuff animations were the thing, like it, like it is in MTA. MTA doesn't have handcuff animations, and for that reason, I think it it hinders the immersion a lot. So because criminals that are apparently handcuffed just have a tag above them with a handcuff icon, I think that hinders it a lot. All right. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay awesome. Tune in tonight. Not tonight, but uh, this Tuesday for uh, an epic climax. Bye.